In this tutorial, uh, we're going to work on building the engines. Actually, the fin blades in the en in the in the engines. So, I usually like to start off with a box. Create the box and position it so that it is inside the engines, like this. And then let's, um, okay, let's uh, scale it down. So, cre so make sure that your your uh, fin or your box is very uh, similar to this. Then right click on your box, click on editable poly, select edge, and click on one edge there. Actually, uh, let's go element first, and then polygon, and deselect everything except for the bottom polygon. We're going to delete that. And next click on edge. Actually even better. We go inside our engine here, and then we click on the back of our our blade and delete that. So we're going to make these blades fairly um, low polygon, but still looking quite good. All right, so now you have the border. I mean, the, the edge selected here. Let's uh, click on ring so it rings it around this way. Click on connect, and. Uh, this time, let's say we want we want two, and let's spread these out to about fifty. Let's give um, these edges a connect, and we can um, we can do a two of about. Uh, 76 is good. Go into your back or front viewport. Select vertex. And select your vertexes here. And then drag them down. And then select both of your vertexes here. And drag them down further. Actually, undo that. Control Z would be undo that, and you can grab even the the vertexes in the center too. Let's um, select our scale command and scale it on the x axis a little bit further, like this. And now let's give this a couple more sections. Bring this down to zero and give it four more sections. And maybe one more line here. So let's go through this one here and give it one line. We could even go to vertex and grab these vertexes and move them down slowly, slightly. There, now we, what we need to do is we want to get the twist command. So click on your modifier stack, press T on your um, on your keyboard and select the twist. And then give an angle and play around with it here. Let's see, uh, we want it on the Y axis it looks like, yeah. That's a little too much. That looks fairly good. Now let's see what happens if we press uh, Turbo Smooth. So T for Turbo Smooth. And that looks fairly fairly good. All right. And uh, one other thing, we're going to click on Twist. Um, turn off your Turbo Smooth. Click on Twist. And then hit your modifier stack and press F and get an FDD box, I mean FFD box. 
and click on your plus icon here, click control points, select the bottom control points, get your scale command, and scale them down. And do the same to the middle just slightly. Right click on your FDD box here and select collapse all. And then you press turbo smooth again, you can see what it did. Now let's go to hierarchy. And we're going to move this so it's in the center. We're going to go effect, pivot only, center to object. And then we're going to drag our pivot all the way down to the very center portion here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to tools and we're going to click on array. If I can move this so we can see what we're doing here. Alright, I'm going to cancel that for now and I'm going to move this over here, zoom out a little wise, and then array. Alright, so we want to click on rotate and I'm going to um, select, well, in uh, copy is good. And we're going to go preview and I think it's going to be on the z axis. So what we want is 360 degrees and we want the count to be somewhere 28, 29, 30. How about 30? Actually, if we click on instance, let's keep it on instance here and say OK. So now we've got 30 blades inside here. And since that they're instances, we can actually just select one, select a vertex. Uh, let's just select the top vertexes here, and if you bring them up, you can see that all of the all of the disks um, move at the same time, which is quite nice. All right, so um, I'm going to attach everything here. So let's select the whole um, the whole airplane here with um, the blades, and we're going to deselect, hold down Alt, and deselect the airplane and everything else. So all you have is the blades that you created and you want to click this little make unique button here and say OK because that will allow us to attach these now let's um, apply a different texture to these let's make it a little darker texture and then we're going to click on our on our engine here and click on edible poly and click attach and let's start attaching all of these Actually, a faster way is just to click on this attach list and select all these boxes here. There. And so what we have now is a set of engines. Let's bring up the specular value on here and the glossiness slightly. So we can see the engines somewhat. The engine blades. Okay, so what we need now is we need a cone on the engine blades. So one thing we can do is we can take the back end of our engine cone here and we'll just use that so we'll hold down shift and drag on the x-axis and we're going to clone to object. We'll click on there, select, select hierarchy, effect pivot only and center to object. And then we're going to flip this here, so mirror, flip it, no clone, 
just on the x-axis and then we're going to get our scale command and we're going to scale it down to about maybe there and we'll paint it black and then we'll move it inwards actually first okay it's got no back so that's good move it in to about there and then click on our engine here and let's attach it and so we've got a cone for our engine part here actually that cone is a bit big I think so let's see if we can shrink that cone a little bit That's more like it. And we could actually, why don't we paint that cone a different color here? So it makes it more, a little bit more realistic. Okay. 